Urban exploration, often shortened to urbex or UE, is the examination of normally unseen or off-limits parts of urban areas or industrial facilities. Urban exploring, often given the pet name recreational trespass or illegal yet responsible tourism, is illegal due to the fact it's usually carried out on private property and it's trespassing. It can be dangerous as derelict sites can often be in bad shape and damaged because of weathering and vandalism. They can have unsafe services due to the cease of maintenance upkeep. This is Dean Robinson, an urbexer from the North East. Dean is going to tell us a bit more about urban exploring. What is urban exploring? Urban exploring, it's, um, it's sort of visiting places where the public normally don't have access to. How did you hear about it? A friend introduced us. Um, just going into places where I've been derelict for a while and yeah, it, it seemed like a good idea to explore. What interests you about derelict sites? Like an ab- I'm an amateur, amateur photographer, so um, I have to pay attention to detail and stuff like that, so obviously derelict places have a lot of detail in them. What differs ur- urban explorers to vandals? Urban explorers are mainly just there to see the sites. They don't vandalise places. They don't. They don't really destroy them. The vandalism. It's destroying things. It's making things not usable anymore. Have you ever been seriously hurt um, while urban exploring? Not really. Just um, cuts and grazes. Um, just on the legs from climbing off walls and. Just stuff like that, really. Nothing too serious. Do you ever get scared that you're going to like fall? Really Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you never worry about um, hanging electrical wires? Or? Sometimes, but places like this, the the normal have them shut off, but it's always best to to make sure, like, just keep keep away from them, really. I mean. There's a fuse box over there, you could tell all the, the wires have been taken off. It's been closed for a few years, so I don't really think the National Grid would want, want um, electric onto this place.